ABC News can project former President Donald Trump will win the Republican primary in Texas. And ABC News can project Senator Ted Cruz will win the primary in his reelection battle in the Lone Star State. Trump is winning handily in multiple states. ABC News can also project that he will win Arkansas. Trump will also win in North Carolina. ABC News can project Trump will win in Virginia. Uh, but let's take a look now at the state of Vermont. Trump and Haley are neck and neck there. Uh, Trump up just less than three percentage points right there with 45% of the vote in. I want to bring in Rick Klein, our political director, back at the big boards for us. And, and Rick, it's not all bad news for Nikki Haley this evening. Give us a sense of the bright spots for her campaign tonight as they describe themselves as the happy warriors. Yeah, Lindsay, I mean, look, in the big picture tonight, there, there's, there's not a lot of good delegate news for Donald Trump. It's a 167 new delegates for him, only three so far for Nikki Haley, and no states won. As you mentioned, Vermont is looking close. We're going to be watching these numbers as the, as the night goes in, not to overstate the importance of Vermont, but it would be nice for Nikki Haley to actually win a state. She very much would like to win one. I think it would be a symbolic victory and maybe enough to, to, keep, her, uh, to keep her in the mix a little bit. But I am looking at, respond, at some of the, the results uh, in some of these states and seeing Okay, well, this is the outlines of a Nikki Haley argument. She's saying that there's a lot of skepticism in the Republican Party over who Donald Trump is and what he represents. And you can see it here in the Virginia suburbs of Washington, D.C. This is a place where right now Donald Trump is winning by about 30 points. But here in Fairfax County, it is Haley by about 17 points. Uh, in Arlington, it's Haley by 50 points. In, in, in Alexandria, right, right underneath it, it is Haley by about 45 points. So that's the same kind of voter we're talking about. A lot of them are independent. Some even may be Democrats. Similarly, we're seeing this in the Charlottesville area, college town, college towns across the country. Been very good for Nikki Haley. She's already on track to win those congressional, uh, those congressional district delegates from Northern Virginia. Again, not a hugely good night for her overall. There's no question she wanted to be doing a lot better. But still, there, there are pockets where you can see where the argument is, as we see now Texas being being projected for Donald Trump as well. That's even more delegates. And I would say that there's some disappointing news for her. The campaign hoped to be uh, competitive in Maine. ABC News has projected Maine, and that looks like it is not going to be particularly close for, uh, for Nikki Haley. And in Massachusetts, we're still analyzing the vote as it comes in, but Donald Trump has opened up a significant lead. Those are, those are the states where she spent a lot of time in the closing days of the campaign. They were hoping to make, that, to make that argument to New England voters. They did relatively well in New Hampshire. And in the overall delegate lead, you, you see this right now. It is now more than a 400-delegate gap. Donald Trump's still less than halfway where he needs to be to that magic number of 1,215, but he's well on his way to get close tonight and be in striking distance of the nomination within another week or two. That's the big picture tonight. Nikki Haley not having the kind of night she wanted, although there are pockets of the country that are continuing to demonstrate the Republican skepticism because we've been talking for weeks now about this race, how this race is effectively over. There are a lot of Haley voters that aren't buying that. And let's go back to that pocket of New England. You told us earlier that you thought that Vermont could be close for Haley. Any details from there? Yeah, I mean, look, the, 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 Vermont is a hard state to analyze because there aren't a lot of people in most of the population centers. But you could look right about Montpelier, around Burlington. Those are Haley places right now. And it, as, the, as the vote starts, starts to come in, some of it is, is even significant. It's a, it's a relatively rural state. Again, you've got that kind of, uh, that, that, uh, the flinty Republican New England feel. The Republican governor of that state is, uh, was one of the few big uh, endorsements that she had. And I think that's the kind of state, if she can't win there, she really can't win any Anywhere. We'll see how that one lands. That's probably at this hour the best chance she has for, for getting a victory in her column tonight. All right, Rick Klein, our thanks to you for breaking it down as you always do. And let's